Welcome back again. Our topic for today is how to simulate alarms for our generators through AMS. What is AMS? Alarm Monitoring System. Maker some electronics slash Lingsu. Okay, let's start. This is gener example. This is generator number three. Go to alarm list. All cleared for generator number three. Then go to menu 59. This is the alarms for generator number three. This is the trip, the low trip, low oil, low trip. Okay, we will try this one. Then the status, status, password, one, 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 one. Okay, simulation on, then value on. Means you simulate alarms. Okay. The alarm is triggered as you can see generator low oil inlet pressure low trip okay that is the contacts for contacts status and value only you change on and on that is for the contacts can see we will check on the simulation GE log oil okay let's turn on then we put it back password one one turn off okay that is the normal setting okay next Go to simulation menu. There is no simulation or simulated menu. Go to manual. This is our simulated manual cutout. Means because we are here in dry dock, that's why there is lots of alarms that is cut out for now go again 59 we need to check example this because this generator is is turned off it means it's not running the HD water in the temperature is auto auto repose you can see we will try okay As you can see on the state norm slash ca means the generator is auto repose that alarm is auto repose our generator number three is turn off we'll go back again cancel We find another transmitter. Sample
this FO inlet pressure transmitter means this is a pressure transmitter it has a value okay previously I turned on the cut off but right now we will change the value right now the value is 7.4 then we will change the value lower than the actual uh, higher than the actual value okay manual cut off that is the normal manual cut off okay the alarm is triggered okay. if the setting manual cut is on it means you also repose that one okay put it back to normal manual cut off and then delay 120 okay that is turn off manual cut off means the transmitter is not reposed but if you set to M cut off and set on means that is cut off or reposed okay go back to we will try this exhaust temperature because we already carried out the pressure we will change this value right now the value is 67 going that is the high alarm means right now the value is 67 we will try 50 so that it will trigger the alarm okay south temperature alarm high because the set value is 50 and the actual value is 67 that's why it's triggered Okay, put it back one one and then put put the normal setting for fifty. Okay, that's it. That that is the simulation on AMS okay this is a quick recap this is a list menu at 59 menu 59 this is the list of generator number three this list is also listed in our IMS that we need to carry out these alarms firstly we need to simulate at the AMS and then next at the actual but for now in our video we cover only the AMS simulation also you can check out our videos previously how to activate or simulate the overspeed mechanical overspeed and how it works also how to adjust or simulate by changing the set point for the speed module controller okay we have a bonus we go to maintenance how to change a line to change to UTC or local time if the inspector is always watching for this time 
if we are synchronized with our UTC or local time. That is A and B. Ah, sorry, one or two. The one is for the alarm unit, alarm printer, and then this number two AMS for data logging printer. Okay, connected with the LAN via the module converter going to the LPT1. Okay, number two is for the data logging system. And number one is for the alarm printer. This is the printer. Ah, sorry, it, this is the CPU. Number two, this is number one. Okay, I sometimes the printer is not printing the schedule printout. This one is the tip how to set the schedule printing for the data lagging printer go to journal okay the top as you can see uh, no. edit schedule printout is not highlight means we need to go to a group or we can make our new selection example this main engine you can rename print out or new page now you can print out and one okay and enable print out check enable print out and okay and after that select main engine example main engine set check the main engine parameters and then okay okay the main engine parameters is is displayed and then we can check the scheduled printout okay can check the scheduled printout the scheduled printout is enabled means you can print whatever you like example you said 12 noon this printer is printing at noon okay the schedule printout is already highlight and check okay this is the printer <coughs> this is the printer for data lagging Epson it's a ribbon ribbon cut the, the printer is Epson Thanks for watching and I hope this video help you in your future vessels. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and also hit the bell button for more updates and also follow us on Facebook. Thank you very much.